has in a card format, which I really think is nice, um, about the jewelry wine. Then on the back is your receipt in a card format. I just think that is so unique. I've never seen someone give you, this is my receipt. Is that right? One of them is. Anyway, um, this is a test report. Sterling Silver Certificate of 925 Sterling. Passed. Oh, this is an inspection pass. Um, this is how to care for it. Wow. Two front and back. How to care for it. This is how to return it if you don't want it how to size it, everything about, I mean, oh my gosh, I thought one of them was the actual receipt of what it cost, what the item number was. Oh, that's just about any, you know, possible defects, blah, blah, blah. But it comes with the jewelry box, a cleaning cloth, that is a silver cleaning cloth, because silver does tarnish, and a little jewelry pouch. Who does that? And this beautiful little box and this jewelry cover with a little bow. Y'all, I think that is a really nice touch. A really nice touch. I think it says a lot about the brand. So here's the ring. I don't know if you can see it. And now I'm going to bring it up close so you can see it. And hopefully this will focus. You know how things are. It's a really pretty ring set in sterling silver. It's a square cut, asher cut which square is the shape, Asher is the faceting. Sorry, I have to <laughs> kick the ball for free. Um, it's got a lot of work on the sides, so I want to show you that, that make it look much more believable. Not that I care, but it's just pretty. I'm not sure if it's going to show up, so let's just let it take a second for it to focus. But it's scroll work on the very high... Um, side and you see the sides where they've got the pretty little uh, smaller diamonds or CZs I should say. The center piece is a uh, white sapphire not a CZ and this is what it looks like on. Um, now y'all saw this one. I had this one the other day. Um, this is from I think this is a QVC. It's also an Asher cut. Actually this is an Asher cut stone inside. It's much more brilliant. I don't know if you can see the difference. This is Asher cut. This is a regular square cut. This is a CZ, absolute, and this is a um, white sapphire, which is typically a little more dusty. But because they're also two different cuts, it's hard to tell. There is a weird little something down in the center of that stone. I wonder what that is. Bree? It almost looks like a crack. And it very well may be. Which means I would have to return it. Really like it. Okay, I like it. Is that a crack? Or is it something they did to make it look better? It looks like, I can't even tell. can't tell if it's on purpose or not. I guess I'm going to have to investigate. Anyway, so I like it. I think it's interesting they didn't sit it. That's why they sit it sideways. I wonder why, because it would have fit. I don't know. It's interesting that they have their little, all their little stuffs to the point that I want to keep this box. And I guess I may need to look into returns now in case that is an actual scratch. After I just told you it was great. I mean, those things can happen, though. Okay. So that was next. The other two things I got were replacements, the TARDIS, um, yeah, it does say TARDIS, it says TART High Performance Naturals, but then it is, this is TART the brand, and then there's TARDIS the line, and this is the dual-ended um, eyeliner that I have grown to love so much, it has replaced my two favorites, which is my DNC, where is it, let me show, I want to show it to you. In here? I know I do somewhere. Somewhere. Y'all seen it a hundred times. It's the DHC Eyeliner EX Pro. And then my IT Cosmetics No Tug Gel Waterproof Liner. This is also waterproof. 
It is also gel. It does not tug. It stays on. Ooh. It's good, y'all. What makes this so easy is I can keep this in the purse because on the other end is a black liner. Now, this is not a brush like the DHC or the M Cosmetics. Those are both actual brushes. This is one of those felt tips, but I've almost come to like this because it's a little wider than normal and it's just easier to go ahead and get that deep black. See that deep black look? I hadn't put on my liner yet. Yep, 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 love it. And see how if I want to get that more of a curl, I can just use the tip end and make it be a little more uh, precise. I cannot use that finger. A little fallout from that blue a little while ago. I didn't notice till just now. And uh, see how that's a little line or I can mash down and make it thicker. And that I do like about this. There, and uh, look, it does a good job. I'm probably not being very precise right now, y'all. I'm not, but that's as good as it's going to get for right now. Okay, also, I need, I need, I need this to flick off. A dual ended fiber brush to flick off any fallout. It just flicks it off easy. Brie, honey, you don't want to get a spank. I would never spank her. <laughs> I just see it. Uh, that may be where my. Yeah, that's the DHC right there. That's that liner. And the difference is this is a little more precise brush has more flexibility to it, whereas the, the, the Tarte, it's, it's, oops, that's the wrong end, it's, um, it's hard, but I mean, I guess if you pressed enough, but it would be more flexible, but the only thing about that is, if you start flexing it like that, then you, um, you also make it wider, because you're mashing it down on it. Okay, so that's that. Uh, the other thing that I got was this um it's just a favorite of mine now it's the hydra beauty essence mist from chanel it is a huge um investment but what it is is an energizing mist and it's instant hydration concentration yeah. mist for the face as protection and radiance booster yeah. and you can read about it on chanel.com i love to do it especially below the eyes like just a, in a circular motion it smells so good, so it's just good for my brain. It kind of wakes me up. It glistens a little. It sets your makeup. Um, if you're hot and you need refreshment, it's a nice, wonderful scent of a refreshment. I love it. It has become a staple. Um, and then I decided to try a new kind of skincare. Um, I looked at stuff all the way up to my usual um, Chanel Cream Riche, Revitalift Cream Riche, which is $165. And I thought, is there anything cheaper but still good? And I'm going to try this NIA24 for signs of aging and environmental stress, pro niacin powered skincare, intense recovery complex. And it's just a restorative cream. And it says it delivers instant, I'm sorry, this rich cream delivers intense nourishment and helps to initiate skin's own revitalization. Skin looks fuller, firmer, and redensified by locking in multi-level moisture to replenish and restore the skin barrier. Um, it's formulated with proniacin, sodium hyaluronate, a form of hyaluronic acid to help skin retain natural hydration and prevent moisture loss. Licorice root, this is the one that I am so interested in, to refine, to refine and brighten skin tone for improved clarity. And what that means is it's supposed to help get rid of these um, dark spots, skin patches. I have one there and one right there. There's a few back down under here. That's from um, sun damage over the years. People call them age spots. My dermatologist says they're, they're from aging, but they're mostly from sun damage, uh, which will tell you how important the SPF 15 is um, when you're out in the sun if you want to get a tan. It's just not good for your skin. Um, peptides and ser ceramides blended. Those are very good for you to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles while helping to re replenish and restore skin's moisture barrier. 
So use this morning and at night a small amount on your face and neck. I have not tried this. I read a couple of reviews. They all sound good. I don't know if this is going to work one bit, but I will let you know. This is what it looks like. Pro Niacin Powered Skin Care. That's interesting. Now, when you take these off, there's a lot on the other side. I'm going to put it right back because that's product you can use. See how it's on there? Don't throw that away. Wow. It has a very medicinal smell, just so you know. Like when you're at the doctor's office for surgery. Like, no kidding. It smells, and it's like a single groove closure. So they're very, they're being very, very intentional that this is well um, preserved. Um, it also says avoid eye contact. So this is to use down here for skin discolor discoloration. I may or may not use it on these wrinkles right here. This mainly is to get hydration in my cheek area, cheeking down here and down here, and to help with pigmentation issues. I have no idea if this is going to work, y'all. I didn't even notice if it has any kind of guarantee at all about it working. I just wanted to try it. So I got that, and with it came free this Sun Damage Prevention Broad Spectrum SPF 30. SPF, I mean, 5% something. They put a tag number on the front. So it's got zinc oxide and titanium oxide. So those are some very serious. They really do block the sun's rays. Um, skin cancer alert. Spending time in the sun increases your risk of skin cancer and early age, early skin aging and sagging. It's also known to, this product has been shown to help prevent sunburn, not skin cancer or skin aging. Um, do not use on broke or damaged skin. Apply a dime size amount in the morning on a cleanse face and over the neck uh, or over moisturizer. It 